everybody! This video is about yet another fossil hunting locality, where you can find one of the earliest species of trilobites. We visited it when we traveled to Death Valley National Park in the winter. It's a place where roads are empty, gas stations are scarce, and mobile phone coverage is essentially absent. Trilobites can be found in shale with greenish and maroon hues. The layers of sediment represent the Lower Cambrian Pyramid shale member of the Carrera Formation and were deposited around 520 million years ago. That was an era when some animals were developing protection from predators by adding armor to their bodies in the form of what scientists call an exoskeleton. Marine worms with multiple segments and appendages were likely the ancestors of arthropods, including trilobites. The appearance of mineralized plates allows the earliest arthropods to be more active in seeking their food. However, they had to shed off their exoskeletons periodically to allow for the growth of their body. Over their lifetime, each animal produced multiple molts and increased the chances of leaving their own imprint in the fossil record of the planet Earth. We came a half an hour before sunset and surprisingly were able to find a few good specimens mostly trilobite head shields, or cephalons. Complete specimens are rather uncommon because the exoskeletons fell apart during molting, and other parts of the exoskeletons are relatively small. Most of the trilobites from this locality can be assigned to the genus Olenellus. The name refers to a mythological figure, Olenus, that was turned into stone by Greek gods along with his wife, who claimed that she was more beautiful than any goddess. The partial fossils are exposed either from the top or from the bottom, but in both cases, the large, crescent-shaped compound eyes are easily recognizable. Trilobites from the genus Olenellus lived only during the early Cambrian period and can be used as a guide fossil to date the rocks. The place is called Nopa Range in Inyo County, California. It's located less than half of a mile off the Emigrant Pass along Old Spanish Trail Highway. The road cut is a bit uphill to the right of the road if driving from Tacopa. It has greenish and brownish colors and is covered by many flat rocks that were split and discarded by previous visitors. Thanks for watching, good luck, and see you next time. Before visiting, do your own research as regulations can change. In fact, many trilobite localities that were accessible decades ago are now within boundaries of protected land. Also, be a responsible collector and try to preserve the natural state of the sites. Finally, if you're interested in nature's curiosities, and fossils in particular, our channel has plenty of videos on this topic. Bye bye!